um, data sets also uh, should be as close to the real data um, data set as possible. And this is the same as with the hardware. You know, if we diverge, uh, diverge from the work, production work the data set, uh, the results may not be really relevant. So if you if, if you're doing some scrubbing of, of the data sets or if you're doing you need to clean some or obfuscate some confidential data, um, those processes may basically impact uh, your query execution plans because uh, the, I don't know, the cardinality of the indexes will change, the InnoDB statistics will change, and as such, the code executions plan will change. And you, you basically start to compare apples to oranges because there's definitely, there's a different data set, basically. So, uh, so, so my really strong suggestion is that if you do not have to touch your data, do not do this. Because you'll be you'll be much better when using uh, the production data, and of course you should be using real world queries. You have real real world production data uh, data data set. You want to use uh, real world queries to test the performance out of it. So um, you know if ideally you should be you, you should use a replication to uh, to test the logic because. Running some benchmarks, running some uh, performance uh, tests. That this is fine, but when talking about logic and how your application works, there's no better way just than just to test your application. And and you want to do those tests because you really want to test all the things. Um, so the simplest way of building this environment uh, would be basically to create a slave from a production master, uh, cut off the replication, and uh, you have one host with the production data and with a stable production data that is not being modified. Uh, then once you have this kind of node, you, you, you want to make a copy of it, a mirror. Um, so you just move the data, you, know, you install under 5.7, you ins uh, sorry, 5.6, you, you uh, copy the data using AirSync, SCP, extra backup, whatever, um, and then upgrade one of those nodes um, to MySQL 5.7. So at the end, you will have two nodes with exactly the same data set, one 5.6, one 5.7, and then you're ready to start testing. Uh, and of course, this is a, a nice, uh, what's nice in this process is that you actually perform the upgrade. You should be performing the upgrade to 5.7 in a way that you will be upgrading uh, your production hosts. So when reading this environment, you can actually test your upgrade process, which is also a nice thing to do, of course. So, um, so we have hosts, right? We have 5.6, 5.7 hosts with the same data, but we still need to collect data for tests, like queries. Uh, and, and there are numerous ways you can do this. Um, among others, you can um, grab the traffic, the network traffic to the database using TCP dump, or you can just enable slow query lock. Um, basically, you know, both, both methods have some uh, impact on the overall performance. Uh, TCP dump can be executed outside of the database to minimize the impact, so we can run it on the application host, uh, which is which is nice. Um, of course, there are other methods, like for example, MaxScale, if you're using the uh, MaxScale proxy, uh, it allows to log the traffic to a, a comma-separated value file. Frankly, I'm not sure about the performance of this feature. I haven't tested it, uh, but it is possible to do so. Um, in the future, uh, another proxy, proxy SQL, uh, will allow you to uh, mirror the traffic. So instead of just, you will be able basically to run a copy of your traffic uh, to a separate host, which will be basically amazing when talking about um, preparations for the uh, for the upgrade. This feature is in experimental phase at this point. It 
will be included in one of the new, um, f uh, future releases. Um, and what is important that you want to test all the things, then you want to collect all the queries. Um, so how long you, sh you need to collect, it depends on the your, on your workload. Sometimes it's enough just to grab uh, 10, 15 minutes of the traffic. Uh, sometimes you, the traffic varies and you have to run multiple collections. Like if you have some processes that are running you know, on a weekly or monthly basis, like maybe some end of month reporting or, or something like that. Uh, sometimes you can grab those queries just from your application or from scripts and then include them in the testing. Uh, but uh, sometimes you just have to wait for those queries to, to show up. Um, and once you have this data, you can start to do some uh, preliminary regression testing using uh, PT upgrade, which is a part of the Percona toolkit. Uh, so you, you, you run this tool twice. The first time you run on the 5.6 host, um, and then saving the results uh, for the baseline. And then you can reuse those results for subsequent runs on the 5.7 host. Uh, and you can compare the performance of, of the 5.7 uh, with with your uh, with your baseline, yes, which is the current 5.6 uh, performance. Based on those you know, based on those tests, the, the tool generates reports, and then you can inv investigate you know, any issues that it found. Uh, so what it does is the PT upgrade compares the performance of the query. Uh, so if the query is slower or faster, it will be reported. Uh, it also does some checks on the result set uh, consistency. So if the result set is different, like there are more or less rows, or if the rows maybe are not uh, are in a different order, or maybe there was some error and there are no well, there's there's no error uh, no result set at all uh, on the new version. Um, then th such a query would be reported. Um, what's important to keep in mind that when, when talking about when doing these performance tests, uh, you want to run those tests locally uh, on a host against the, um, the Unix socket uh, because TCP uh, can induce some, in general network can induce some latency which can kind of um, make those, I mean, increase the number of uh, false reports. Um, and of course, you want to make sure that all nodes, both nodes are in the same state, right? So ideally, you would uh, test both code and one state. Um, and personally, what I do is uh, I start with the code state of both nodes. I run the first uh, PT upgrade run and I save the results for, uh, for, for this code run. Uh, and then basically, after I complete this run, I execute it again for the warm, warm run. I'm just using this first run uh, as a warm-up base for, um, for, for my databases. Um, so what you have to be sure that those, you know, those nodes are in the same state. Of course, PT upgrade is not enough to cover all issues. There is no, uh, if you, th th this is not a solution that just you run it and that you, you're okay. Uh, it, it can check performance and it can check some issues, basic issues with the result set, but this is no, ex you know, uh, there's no replacement for um, more detailed tests. Um, so ideally, if you have some kind of you know acceptance test that you use for testing new releases of your applications, and you should have this kind of tests, uh, then you can use them to uh, to, to to run and, 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 and to check if the upgrade uh, affected any parts, any bits of the functionality of your application. Um, so basically, you want to test for all the things, right? So you want to test application logic, make sure that everything works correctly, uh, every processes, every APIs, anything. So 
I don't know if you if you're you're, you're running um, online um, store maybe and you want to check that you know the items are displaying correctly, the shopping carts working, the um, the warehouse is working, uh, it's accessible. Uh, the, I don't know the um, transactions are being the, the credit card transactions are being processed, uh, so on and so forth. You, you want to you just want to be sure that your application really works on new MySQL version. And uh, once you have completed those tests, and there is still one more thing uh, to do. So what you should do is rebuild your 5.7 node. Uh, so basically provision it again uh, from a slave or from the master. Uh, then run MySQL upgrade because you provision it with the 5.6 uh, data set. And then set it up as a slave uh, to, to, uh, um, to the 5.6 master. Um, and let it run for uh, for some time, a couple of days maybe. So this is this step uh, is basically here to make sure that your the, that your uh, 5.7 can correctly replicate from your 5.6 uh, master. I mean, most of the time that that will be the case. There should not be any issues because the uh, this is this is a supported setup. New version replicating from old version. This is a supported setup, but still better be you know safe than sorry, and better to to, to you know do those do this test, leave it you know spend those days watching the replication, uh, and not to end up with half of your slaves upgraded, and then replication breaks on every single one of them. So you want to you want to catch this kind of issues beforehand.